Boo! It's an Evan Freiberger weather forecast, and today we're going to be looking at the entire United States. So we got some snow around the Great Lakes that we're going to be checking out. We're going to be telling you exactly how much snow that you can expect from that. And yeah, it's going to be a decent forecast, so make sure you stick around. But as you can see right now, the current conditions across the United States is we still have this invading cold air making its way into Texas, into Oklahoma, into the, uh, the Ozarks region, and into the Great Lakes region. And eventually we're going to see this clipper system that's going to make its way into the region here cause some snow we have some snow happening over here already pretty heavy snow uh, up there in Maine northern Vermont and New Hampshire and also New York but uh, yeah also watching this guy down here it's a little swirler um, it's got like a very small chance of becoming anything if it's gonna get develop it's gonna be you know like a tropical storm uh, or a tropical depression very weak and brief so but yeah you can see that heat is just barely hanging on down here in the southeast but that's gonna change here over the next couple of days so let's get into it first checking out the broad view here you can see that that cold is just right out of reach for the northern New York and Vermont and New Hampshire that's gonna change as that cold air starts to sink into the region here but we can see see that that cold air is making its way into northern Maine and that is causing some actual pretty heavy snowfall there near Caribou, Maine and Presque Isle. Coming over to the snow totals here you can see that over here in Maine we're going to be expecting up to about four or five inches in some spots and that's going to continue to build throughout the day maybe an isolated spot of six inches there. Uh, up in northern New Hampshire you're going to see some flakes also there in, in Vermont with the you know higher elevations you're going to get some of those snowflakes that fall down not a whole lot of accumulation though out of this storm but definitely something to watch just in case some does accumulate on the roads in the higher elevations but it's nothing you guys aren't used to also over here in new york one inch to two inches in some areas around utica uh, just to the north of utica and then also a little bit of lake effect snow there near kingston gotta watch out for that coming down here to buffalo expecting around two uh maybe 2.5 inches in buffalo new york there going to erie Pennsylvania you can see potentially up to four inches is going to be possible there and it's going to taper off the further you go south the cutoff being like Youngstown and Akron and then also maybe some snow as well uh, for Cleveland and just to the east of Cleveland uh, four to five inches is going to be possible there so coming back up to the Great Lake region you can see that clipper is going to be making its way down into the area and you can see that maybe even that snow could maybe even go as far south uh, as West Virginia some snowflakes could be possible not expecting too much accumulation down there but especially on those higher elevation could see some snowflakes the biggest areas where we're expecting the most snow is going to be over here in the peninsula and over here in michigan and then also uh, some snow can be expected over here in wisconsin and minnesota as this dips down to the south we'll be going over that here in the next slide but i just wanted to show you how fast the system's going to move it's really not going to have a lot of time to jump too much snow but some decent small uh, areas of heavy flakes can be expected uh, out of this storm now coming over here to the total Total amounts you can see the biggest area where we're going to be seeing the most snow is probably going to be over here in Michigan uh, over there just to the north of Muskegon and Grand Rapids as we're going to be getting some lake effect snow there and as you can see it's going to be around four to five inches in some areas with that cutoff being right around Mount Pleasant and then picking back up as we go over to eastern Michigan with maybe one to five inches uh, possible along the coast there just to the north and east of Sterling Heights Kalamazoo potentially up to one to two inches there as well and some snow making it into um, Indiana as well near South Bend maybe even can see some isolated spots of two to five inches got to watch out for that and maybe a little bit of accumulation of um, down here near Columbus and also up here in the mountains uh, of West Virginia potentially up to one inch not a whole lot the higher in elevation you go the better chance that you're gonna have to see uh, some better snow out of that and now coming over here to Wisconsin uh, you can see there's gonna be pretty much the entire state here is going to get some sort of accumulating snow uh, with the cutoff going to be south in Illinois here so you know Rockford could potentially see an inch Juliet even Chicago might see you know one inch of snow Madison around one to two inches around Sheboygan and Oshkosh two to five inches near Eau Claire and Merrill around two inches the further north you go the more snow you're going to see you know four 
uh, inches are going to be possible there at the extreme northern Wisconsin. And as you go into the UP of Michigan, uh, you can see that we're going to see probably the highest snowfall amounts, and that's mainly because we have this lake up to the north, and that's going to get that lake effect snow going as this storm passes through, potentially up to eight, maybe even an isolated spot near the coast of up to a foot near Houghton, and then also uh, three to four inches near Marquette and then uh, four to five inches near uh, Salt St. Mary. And then last but not least, we have some snow also here for Minnesota. Uh, northern Minnesota is going to be the main spot where the heaviest snow is going to fall just to the south and west of International Falls. The mid G is also could potentially see one to two inches uh, south of Grand Rapids, one to five and around Brooklyn Park around one to five as well. And that snow really tapers off as you go into Iowa, but maybe uh, northwestern uh, or northeastern Iowa could see about an inch of snow there. Other than the snow, you can see we also have some rain chances across the United States really extending from Maine all the way down into Texas. Maybe even a little bit of icing over here near Fort Stockton and Sanderson. Gotta watch out for that. Could cause some dangerous road conditions if any of that ends up sticking, but it shouldn't be enough to really cause any major problems. Uh, but yeah, definitely small rain chances, although unfortunately the southeast, I really do think, you know, although you do see some rain there, it's going to be brief and it's not going to really help the drought conditions that much at all, if any. Uh, and in fact, the drought could get even worse just with this small amount of rain and then the continued dry air that we're going to be seeing uh, on the back of this. You can see after these storms pass through, there's really not going to be much going on for the next couple of days, potentially up to the next five days. Um, in terms of snow, rain, or really anything happening. But coming back down here, we're going to be looking at the rainfall totals, and then that's going to be it for the rest of the forecast. So let's come over. All right, these are the rainfall totals from today going into the first here. And as you can see, uh, some decent rainfall totals over here near Austin and San Antonio, just to the north of Houston. About an inch, nothing that you can't handle up there, but enough to, you know, help just a little bit with the drought. Also over here, northern Louisiana, southern Little Rock could potentially get some isolated spots of close to an inch or over. Over an inch and then also going into Mississippi as well and then you know the further you go north I mean you can see here in Alabama where we have the drought also Tennessee where that drought starting to leak into just not a whole lot of rain you know 0.2 inches is really not going to do anything to even stop the smallest of droughts so unfortunately not a whole lot of relief going over to the east coast down to Florida you can see not a whole lot of rain there either and then zooming out you can see most of the country here is going to stay dry unfortunately so but yeah thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you on the next video.